I just almost got so hardcore scammed. Scam alert, this is your scam alert. I saw this post on Facebook and it's like four tickets to Taylor Swift in Indianapolis. I got so excited. My aunt knew the gal that posted it. We wanna to go to Taylor Swift so bad. We tried to get tickets and we couldn't get tickets in Indianapolis. And I went back and forth with them, negotiated the price down. Literally I'm in Zell, in Zell, ready to send the money to them. And the email they sent me doesn't match up with this person's name. And they say that the email account's like attached to some construction company. And I'm like, nah, 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 this is sketchy. And I look up the construction company. I look up the guy on LinkedIn. This person doesn't exist. I'm like, this is weird. I call my aunt and I'm like, can you get a hold of this gal directly? Because this is starting to feel sketchy. She gets a hold of the gal, not real. Ugh, we were this close. I thought we were gonna go to Taylor Swift. Thank God I didn't press send on that money. Oh my God, Valerie was going to lose her mind. I was gonna surprise Derek on the podcast tomorrow. No, it's a scam. This is your warning. Be skeptical, ask questions. If something doesn't feel right, don't freaking do it because it's probably not real. And now we're not gonna go to Taylor Swift. So sorry, Derek, this is the first you're gonna hear of it. But luckily this gal, she's been trying to get it taken down for months with no luck. I've got connections at Facebook. So I just got finished sending an email being like, hey, can you help with this? Because this sucks. And they've been using her account to scam people for months. So here's your warning. Don't do that. Pay attention, be skeptical. Oh! Sorry, Derek, we're not going to Taylor Swift.